Owen, sort me food out, mate. I'll especially sort me food out last five minutes of injury time, first of all. That was probably, like, as I said before, if you could bottle up the feeling of a last minute winner or an equaliser and sell it, you'd be a fucking billionaire. Because it is the best feeling in the world. You're hugging and kissing geezer, you don't know. You, it's the most. I fell down about three rows. It was absolutely amazing. But realistically, when you calm down after it and you relax and you think about it, we should have won that game. I thought we dominate. This is honestly the best performance I've seen from the United team at Stamford Bridge ever. We, know, we, never, we never play well here, ever. And we, I honestly think, well, aside from under Ronnie as well, we, we did dominate him here before. But we had, I think someone was saying that last time we had 70% possession. But we were, we were the dominant side, and I thought we should have, we should 100% have come away with a win today. But if I was coming out of here and it was nil-nil, I'd be depressed. But because of the way we finished with a draw, because it's a one-all, and Casemiro and I, and we were both saying it to each other. I thought Kepper had kept it off the line. And then the referee points. Oh my God, the beautiful feeling of that. Like, if you're a football fan and you know that feeling, you know it's just the most beautiful thing in the world. You're just going mental. But look, realistically, we should be coming out of here with three points. Uh, Does that disappoint you that we're not taking chances again? Because Tottenham, we dominated. Very similar, actually. We just didn't create as much today, but we still made Kepa work. Are you looking at it as a positive that we're making the keepers look like the opposition's best player, or should we be doing better in front of the goal? We should be doing better in front of the goal, but look at the end of the day, we've said it a million times, Rashford's not a striker. He's not a striker, he's a winger. And look, I love Rashi, I love him to pieces, but... Look tired towards the end as well, mate, didn't it? Look tired as well, and as well, Varane injury is a it fucking massive loss. It looked like concussion, mate, because he yeah. was walking off. I don't know, we couldn't see, but I know what you mean. Would you be fearing if we was any sort of long-term injury no, for Varane again? Oh, massively. Like, because, honestly, the drop-off from Varane and Martinez to Martinez and Lindelof or Maguire is massive. It's like, you know, it's like thinking you're going home with Kate Moss and then you're going home from Katie with the pub. So, like, it's just... It's not, uh, it's, it's very worrying. And look, I love Varane, and you can see it last year when, he, when we were missing him. We were, a completely different, we were a completely different team with him in the side. So he's a massive loss, and I just pray to God that he's, that he's all right and that he can come back. Come back for the week. Don't need him for Sheriff. It's all right for Sheriff. Yeah. Sheriff is fine, but he needs to be back for West Ham on Sunday. That's it, mate. Talking about that, you mentioned his name there then. The cult hero at this football club right now, and what I can only describe as an absolutely immense performance. Argentina, we've oh, been chanted mate. all the way through the game, mate. Martinez, again. Oh, it was scary how good that guy is. I love that man. Like, do you know what I mean? I actually just love, he's just amazing. And he like, it's just one of them. Be your new man crush, mate, yeah. Uh, yeah, honestly. <laughs> I, I don't swing that way, but if, if, if the opportunity came, probably. Uh, but like, he's just, He's just brilliant, and do you know what I love as well, and we love his fans, that like he embodies the club, he fucking gets behind it, he kisses the badge, like we've seen the photo of Casemiro celebrating the goal, like it's just pure passion, I love that South American, that fight from from the, you know, Brazil, like from South America, they just are passionate as fucking, honestly, I read that quote from Martinez earlier in the week when he was saying he feels so proud when he hears uh, the fans singing Argentina, and like, he is, honestly, Jamie Carragher, right? This is a message, Jamie Carragher. Eat your fucking heart out, you prick. <laughs> because you doubt Honestly, better than your better than your Dutch fella. He's better than him. He is working his way up to he's already a cult hero at United. He honestly, if he carries on the way he is, he could be at the status. No, I'm talking prematurely and I will get slated for it, but could be at the status of Vinich by the end of his career. Mate, if he the way he's on playing like that, you can't argue with it. But if he carries on playing like that, 100%. And honestly, I, I love the geezer. He's just mint. He's fucking mint. Continuing the South American theme, Casemiro. <sighs> mate, I honestly. Do you love him as well, mate? I, I adore him, honestly. <laughs> Uh, I, I just love the bloke, honestly. I just I'm worried what you're going to say next now. Let's stick to football. Uh, we'll stick to football, <laughs> don't worry about that. But 
Honestly, Casemiro, like when we signed him, I've never been more shocked by a signing ever. Because it came out of nowhere, we signed him and I was like, fucking hell, we've actually got... We have been crying out for a CDM for how long, Ads? How long have we been crying out for a CDM? Mate, and he's actually a CDM. And when he scored tonight and seeing that photo of him afterwards, where he was celebrating, mate, honestly, I love him. And he's just brilliant. And look, I'm not expecting mental things from this season. Like, I know we're not going to win the league. No one's that stupid. But realistically, as you said to me earlier, we've taken 10 points from the big six. That's not a bad return, realistically, from what we were coming into at the start of the season. After, like, after Brentford, mate, I honestly was thinking, fuck, I, thought, yeah. I was thinking, fuck, you know, we might finish 10th or 11th. And we, we've had a massive turnaround and Eric Ten Hag's done the right thing and he's... And he seems like he's getting the right tune out of the players. And Anthony as well. Uh, didn't have as great of a game today as he has in the past, but he was... They bossed the club, mate, didn't they, again? They bossed the club for the manager. But look, the mentality's right, in it? But look, as fans, we look at a game and we go, all we want is you to put in 110% effort and to put everything into the game. And if we, if we come out of that game and loss, yeah, that's fine, but you put everything into it. Everyone put everything into there, and that's why it was so gutted when they got a penalty. I haven't seen it, so I don't know whether it was or not, because we couldn't see it from our end. Whether it was or not, I'm not sure, but it's uh, it was gutting because well, we were the dominant team, and we should have won that game. We didn't let it affect us, mate. We moved on. We got the point. He said, that's the big six. Going out of the way now. We move on to West Ham at weekend. Owen, it's not as bad as it could have been, and we're walking away up, and we can't have so much more, mate, really. All right, hang on, sorry. Pugs, get in here. Hang on, no, no, this is... Um, this is Pugs, this is Pete, Peter Brioni, he used, to, he used to drive around Ronaldo back in the day, he, used, he worked for United Security, he's a legend. Uh, well you've got to be happy with the point away, haven't you? You've got to be happy. I thought United were dominant until they made the substitutions, they brought Fed on, they shouldn't have brought Fed on, brought McTominay on, they shouldn't have brought McTominay on, they were comfortable and that's when the game changed. We're a far better team without McFred and Dov. And we proved it in the past and we'll prove it in the future. Ten Hag has to realise and see that, seriously. He's got to see it. They're not good enough for Manchester United. We are a team in the making and he has to decide who is good for their squad. And they are not good for that squad, they're championship players. And it's proved it. And we got away with murder at the end by an old... Real Madrid player, and if we've had Ronaldo ah, today, yeah, we're not calling cool. Casemiro. If we, Real if we had him had Ronaldo, if we, he's if a if we, if we, if he's if an we, absolutely beautiful. If man we would right have now. had Ronaldo today, we'd have won that game. Seriously, we'd have won that game. That is a way to finish it. Oh, Ronaldo, not in the team today, but he can always work his way back. It's never over, mate. He'll play again. Never over till it's over. He'll play against Sheriff. I love the man. He, he's the reason I fell in love with football. I'm 23. He was like my earliest memories as a kid of going to Old Trafford, watching Van der Sar play the ball out and Ronnie running down the <laughs> running down the wing. It's he's the reason I love football. He's an amazing I'll always love him, but it seems like the relationship's run its course. And it's sad, but it just it, it seems like it's got to have, it's got to come to an end. Owen, cheers for coming on mate, absolutely. Cheers, Ads. So, yeah.